first question is, uh, what are your feelings be, uh, being known in Turkey so? Yeah, it's a beautiful feeling. Um, I have to say that uh, there are other countries where I also have uh, uh, quite uh, popular uh, uh, fame, but um, in Turkey it's special because I think that this country is uh, really uh, prone to philosophy. It's, uh, it's incredible how, how many people uh, really uh, love philosophy and wisdom and anything which can bring some uh, depth in their thinking. So they are really hungry for food for thought. And this gives me a great pleasure because, you know, just to be number one in all the sales in uh, philosophy and wisdom uh, is a great satisfaction, I would say, in a country where this is very much appreciated. Uh, as well as being perfectionist, uh, we are the age of, we are in the age of slave beauty. But perfection is a, a universal value and belongs to everybody, beyond the religion, uh, culture and geography. So I think that in the name of perfection we can uh, reach the very root of our humanity, of being humans. This, uh, this is what really makes us a special species uh, among all the zoological beings of this planet. We are a special species because we have this sense of perfection that is urging and pushing us towards something that we will never reach. Because perfection we will never reach, but we will uh, desire to get there. Uh, one time it will happen. Uh, and uh, this uh, strong urge that we feel inside is what has created our civilization. In reality, the, uh, perfection is the engine of, uh, of whatever we have achieved and what we will going to achieve. Ownership is the art of solitude. What are the details that make your writing life perfect? My publisher. <laughs> My publishers that uh, push, push me <laughs> from uh, many countries to, to write and uh, produce and uh, be there timely. Uh, they are a big uh, force. On the other side, uh, really, I think that uh, together with solitude, I think uh, silence is very important. Silence and solitude should be the tools for any man to find himself, not only for uh, who writes, which is a very terrible job. It's a painful job and uh, requires a lot of uh, commitment and uh, by the end also the joy of suffering, because each time is, everything is at stake. You have no guarantee that we will ever produce something valuable, but you have to work hard. It's, uh, it's um, self-confidence in uh, working hard without any hope that you are getting the results. If you are ready for that, you can be a writer. <laughs> Thank you. There are people who have overcome fear. There are people who have overcome time. They are not blackmailed by short-term objective. They don't live by day from hand to mouth. There are people who have a sense of infinity. They put a fragment of uh, eternity in what they do. Who are they? I started asking myself, where are these people? Who is preparing them? Because I realized that we own them everything we are, everything we have. They are the benefactors of humanity. Behind anything good, beautiful, interesting, rich, there is always one man. There is one of these men. I realized that without this man, we cannot make it. And unfortunately, they become less and less. We have to prepare more people who have defeated fear. The red uh, cells, you know what are the red cells, the globulirosi? They, they carry oxygen wherever they go. We need them in the organizations. We need them in politics. We need them in business. Light people, simple people, powerful, believing in themselves, people with a dream. Simply, we need dreamers. And we don't have them. We do not produce them. We don't know how to do it. Whatever we don't understand, we need time. But you are here to understand that if you wait for understanding through time, you will be with any, anybody else. You have to understand before time. 
You have to be able to understand when things are not being revealed by time. When you wait for time to reveal things, to make them evident, when everybody believes in the same things, then you are too late. Don't believe in time. Don't be killed by time. Be ahead of time. Have I finished my time? <laughs> How can we be timeless? This is my wish to you. My wish to you today, who have sacrificed your time to be here, I don't think of anything else more helpful than to wish you to be timeless. Timeless means that you like to be with yourself. Timeless means that uh, you love yourself. That you don't have anything to regret for the past, you don't have anything to imagine for the future, but you are living here. To believe that there is a future means to be dead. So time and death are one and the same thing. To be timeless means to be alive. Know yourself means don't believe in time, because know yourself means believe in your inner life. Look at what you are inside, and inside yourself you have no time. When we are inside ourselves, when we live in our dreams, when we nurture our intuitions, we are timeless. There we have to be most of our time. Take time from time to be timeless. Take more time to be with yourself with your thoughts, with your intuitions, with your dreams. There you are timeless. There you are immortal. When you don't think about time, when you are timeless, when you don't have limits, when you don't have plans, then is the time that you will have an idea that will produce all that you cannot produce in a lifetime. Believe in yourself. Don't believe in time. Don't be killed by time. We need people of integrity. We need Timeless people, not blackmailed by time. We need dreamers, capable to harmonize business and ethics, to harmonize financial power and love. So I discovered that uh, the key word, the password for the future, the word that can save the world is one. It's called the integrity. So we are here to present an idea. I think that we have to bring integrity as the central value of human life and also of uh, uh, our uh, nations. To save the world, we have to unify, to be completed. This should be the mission of uh, education. This is our job, this is our mission. We have to prepare complete people because incomplete people will betray, will steal, will, uh, will, uh, will try to, to get their, their own uh, benefit. They will never be at the service of the world, of their nation, never, unless we prepare people who have unified themselves. Now I pose you a question. Can you answer in honesty and sincerity? Can you do that? Can we try? It's a test. How many of you would work today, start today, working for something that we can achieve maybe in 1,000 years? Raise your hand. I always thought that Turkey is a, a country for dreamers. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, And it's not by chance that uh, my next project I created here, three years ago, a center to prepare these dreamers. There is not a school for dreamers. We don't care. We don't know that they are the intelligent cells of the humanity, that without dreamers we will disappear, that many civilizations have disappeared before us, just because they had no dreamers anymore. This is the real problem that we have. This is the source of all our evils. This is why the planet is in the conditions that it is. We have problems that we have not solved in millennia. They're always the same. Criminality, wars, pollution, uh, illiteracy, uh, famine. They're already there, always there in the Stone Age and in the Digital Age. Without energy and with the atomic energy because a man is not changed. One man can 
change the destiny of a company. Çünkü bunun dışında bir kişi bir şirketin kaderini değiştirebilir. One man can change the destiny of a nation. Bir insan e, bir ülkenin kaderini değiştirebilir. If we could have more Atatürk. Eğer bizim daha fazla Atatürk'ümüz olursa. We could be able to forge them. Onları doğru şekilde işleyebilirsek. We could change the world overnight. Dünyayı bir gecede değiştirebiliriz. This is my dream. I hope you will share my dream. It's been my pleasure to stay with you. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you.